Um, I want to do this video to explain my goals in this life right now. Uh, my goals <clears throat> right now in this life are to take down Babylon, which is the banks and the corporations which control uh, our country because our country is a bankrupted corporation owned by the international bankers. Uh, these international bankers, they create money, they counterfeit money, then people borrow it, and then through their labors they give this money value. So the key to understanding what my goals are is the key to understanding how our money system works. Americans are borrowers. They have fed and created an atmosphere for the banks and corporations to control the country, to rule over us, to lobby our politicians. Politicians who ruined the land. They have taken our liberties. They have made us homeless. We have not listened to our forefathers. George Washington said paper money has had the effect in your state it will always have to ruin commerce, oppress the poor and honest. And this is what it, what it means in, in uh, Ezekiel 22 when it says blood is on your hands. Um, in you, you have oppressed the fatherless and the strangers. And then Revelation 17 which says they are drunk with the blood of the saints. That's God's people. Uh, I ended up homeless because Thomas Jefferson predicted it. He said, the central bank is an institution of the most deadly hostility existing against the forms and principles of our constitution. That's the Federal Reserve Central Bank. He said, if the American people ever allow a private bank to issue their currency, our children will wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. So then God says in, uh, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 51, um, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has devoured me. This is the same thing that's happening now that has happened in the past. <clears throat> what has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes 1.9, this is the truth. You know, look at it in any way you want to, but the truth is the truth. Um, what's been done will be done again. This isn't, this isn't new. Uh, having bankers control the country, it's not new. It's the same thing that's been happening. It says, he has crushed me. The banks and corporation has crushed me because they made me homeless. He has made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. He has filled his belly with my delicates. He has cast me out. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitants of Zion say, and my blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea shall Jerusalem say, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. This is Jeremiah 51, 34 through 36. So, my job <clears throat> is Jeremiah 50, verse 2. That's why I wrote my book, and that's my whole goal. When I, when I do my declaration to the city, which is a corporation owned by bankers, I, I uh, come out, Revelations 18.4, come out of her, my people. And then I do Jeremiah 51.2, it says, Declare ye among the nations, and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not, say, Babylon or the New World Order or the banks and the corporations or Wall Street or the UN, whatever you want to, you know, label Babylon, it's the people that are in charge. Bell is taken. Um, <clears throat> Babylon is taken. Bell is confounded. Meriduck, which is rebellion. Uh, 
is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded. That's fake money. They're dried up. Her images are broken in pieces. You know, the image of your capital letter name, the image of the beast, the images of Babylon. Uh, that's how, <clears throat> that's how their fake money gains power is that we contract with this image giving their idols power and God says in Jeremiah, or no, Deuteronomy 7.25, their images of their gods shall you burn. America's no different. We're just like all the other, other nations around us. There's no difference. We used to be a free country. We used to be prosperous. The world used our dollar. But the globalists have raped our dollar. They raped our country. And their, their, uh, their pawns, military, police, sheriffs, city council members, they're all molesting the people and they use the lawyers. Nobody can do nothing without speaking with a lawyer because he's the enchanter. He's the one that uses the play on words to keep the key of knowledge from the people. Look up the word enchanter. That's what lawyers are. Um, you know, the Bible says, uh, Woe unto you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You entered not in yourselves, and then that were entering in, you hindered. These lawyers are the enchanters of Babylon. They're the, they're the teachers. They're the ones that teach people what Babylon is. You know, it's a, it's a, the nations have been deceived. That's Revelations 18.23. For by her sorceries were the nations deceived. So my goal is to take down this entire system, the entire Babylon, the banks and the corporations. And, and how do I know that it's going to be taken out? Because the angel of light has landed on earth that is uh, referred to in Revelations 18, 1 and 2. I saw an angel of light descend from heaven, having great authority, and he lightened the earth with his glory, and he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. So, so um, what is light? It's knowledge. Um, Daniel 12, 4. Um, knowledge will be abundant. Seal up the words of this prophecy till the time of the end. Knowledge will be abundant. Um, you know, it's knowledge that's going to make the bankers, um, you know, when the people wake up. You know, Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8. Will not your debtors arise? Will they not awake? And then you will become their victim. That's Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8. Uh Jeremiah 51, 17, every man is brutish by his knowledge. Uh, that means that they're wasted, they're in a depression, their country is wasted because of their lack of knowledge of how this money system works. Even Henry Ford said, if the people understood our money system, I believe there would be a revolution by tomorrow morning. So it's knowledge that people are going to wake up because it was a good system for a while. Uh, God closed their eyes of the seers and the prophets, Isaiah 29, 9 through 11, to this vision of Babylon. So they, they were drunk. They couldn't see right. They couldn't see. Even now, some people can't see. They're too busy trying to, to work in the system, getting a paycheck. You know, they don't see what's going on because they're living comfortable. The only way you know you can really see what's going on is uh, Proverbs 28 11 which says uh, <clears throat> the rich are wise in their own eyes but the poor who have understanding examine him you have no need to examine the money system unless you're poor and that's what happened to me I became poor so um, my goal is to take down Babylon the banks and corporations which which every government agent works for a paycheck and it has nothing to do with law. They're in a contract 
through their social security card and they are they have duties to uphold that contract which is to be stupid to work for the bankers and to do their bidding for a paycheck has nothing to do with law <clears throat> constitution has nothing to do with the constitution nothing because the constitution says certain things and it's obvious that our country is not following the constitution no coin no <clears throat> No state shall coin money on anything but gold and silver. That law is broken because now our money's fake and the state doesn't even issue it. The Federal Reserve issues it. So my goal is to take these people down.